Good evening, my viewers. Again, late in the night, and I'm doing the video. And I just dropped my camera. I will try to put this lower. Okay. All right. I hope it will stay that way because it just fell down. Okay. What I will start <coughs> this video with. Winner of the lottery for the Valentine Day was Jane Kultiev. And that's the name. Please uh, call me Jane and uh, the, the comments uh, are under the video from February 12th. So you are posted as the first one if someone doesn't, but I think that will be easy to, to understand who I was talking about. And thank you again to wonderful people from Oregon, from Eugene, Eugene. that's a little city in Oregon, and this is from Janet Burke and her husband. They again sent me those little toys for children. I don't have children, so I will be donating this to Dance Magic to Tracy McLean. She is my youngest son's serious girlfriend. For a few years they are living together, so it's a like common in law marriage. And so Everything will go there. Thank you so much, uh, Jane, and uh, I will contact with you through the emails. And the story of yesterday, ending investigation of Andrew Mark B. DOJ drops the case. I said that they will be, that the wallet is hanging for Maccabee. I wonder if he will now receive the, the money that the pension because Trump took his pension. So now he can sue probably and receive that pension. That's my guessing. Because there was no reason for, for Trump to send him one day before his uh, retirement day. Okay, of course, I'm always taking questions from my wonderful viewers. Thank you to everyone who is writing comments and asking questions. I can't answer all of them. I wrote so many, so I will be trying as often as possible to, to put them. And I will start. Konea S. She reminds, or he or she, I don't know, reminded me that I said that Varney with was was the one who was struggling with the two steps and i said it was um, biden sometimes when you are doing things alive you you mix the name so i'm sorry and thank you Konea, that you reminded me i i noticed that when i was watching the video and I thought, oops, again, mistake. So those two big steps, I think one when he was going against Hillary and now it's another big step. That's the reason I don't know if he will be able to go over that huge steps ahead of him. And this one is about, but, um, Bernie Sanders. Will Bernie Sanders uh, be a great president and be able to give all, to all the people healthcare that they needed? And I saw a house with icicle hanging from the roof. I don't know if that, that will be kind of frozen picture in the uh, future. And about Biden again, that was supposed to go with the first one about Biden. Will Biden drop the race? And, and when? 
hand. I closed my eyes and saw a vision and I thought, I don't understand the vision. I knew that it was related to the story that we were both, well, all of us, we went with the group of friends and there was two um, camping on the long weekend. That time we could only, I was sleeping in the station wagon uh, with my youngest son and my husband was in the tent with the older son, with Leszek. And the next to us, there were beautiful two young girls who were partying all night. And then in the morning, they were packing the station wagon. And the way that the wagon was packed to the max. They came somehow with the same stuff, but when they were packing, they forgot that they have a glass back door, um, like window, and they slammed the, I remember one slammed the, the, the hatch and shred, the window shredded. So I thought, why do I have that answer? And then I thought, yes, it was long weekend on May. We were probably two years in Canada or three years in Canada. So in Canada, we have long weekend, May 18. So he will be probably, Biden will be dropping out of the race in the May. At least I believe that was the, the vision that was answering your question. I would like to know myself. I. I'm a little kid when it's coming to those questions and answers. I want to know. My girlfriend uh, Cheryl came to the store today, and uh, we were. She was. We are talking about something. I said, "Ask me the question. Ask me the question." So, she was asking and writing the questions, and then I was drawing the picture. Pictures, DNA. That's the question. Uh, the comment uh, section person that asking is this question, will Bromberg be a nominee? And I see that empty chair waiting for him. That's my guessing. I have to be honest what I see. Okay, this three of them are related to Bar. And the first one is Peggy Thompson. Will Barr be disbarred or will he resign? And I saw a pumpkin. And to me, pumpkin it was uh, all, the, uh, all the time related lately with comments from Stephen Colbert. He was always drawing that cartoonish pumpkin related to Trump's impeachment. So that image will probably stay with me forever as an impeachment reason. So I think he will be... And then I saw him waving, so bye-bye. So I think Barr will be going for impeachment. Um, this one question is related to Barr. Why is Barr testifying in front of the house at of Mar in March for uh, of the house of March 31st are they gathering information to impeach bar and as the answer I saw first I saw the first row of those telescopic I didn't knew even if it's telescopic I saw just the row of things under the platform and I told her, I, this is my girlfriend, Cheryl. I said, I don't understand this. So she said, As, what those um, crosses means underneath? And I said, oh, they are on top of each other. They are telescopic. They are moving up the platform. So they are telescopic support under the platform, building structure to rise up the impeachment. That's what we figure out, that that's what was the vision all about, that they are going to 
make him going towards the impeachment towards her. Rosa Ronel, Ronade Wilbur still be working for Trump in the future. And two versions, sorry, they are small. One, it's a bed of nails. In Poland, we have, we, we call this, oh, whatever. I knew that name. And then um, this will be the, the bed that he will be laying on the bed with nails. And the other one, it is hot lava rocks that he will be walking for Trump. Yes, the hot, the, the nails looks uh, very hard to, to, to walk on them, but uh, to lay on them. But there are some people who are working in the circles and they, they are just laying down. They know how to lay comfortably on those nails. Barr will be pretending that working for Trump is so uncomfortable for him. But for those people who are in the circles, they can put heavy items on them and they are still surviving. They don't feel any pain. So this is kind of pretending that it's so hard for Barr to lay on those nails for Trump. Yes, he will be working for Trump and he will be doing the, the job that he loves and walking on the lava rocks. Lava rocks don't keep, the, the, they don't hold the heat. So outside they are right away cold. Uh, we can touch them with our feet. They look horrific, but it's not something that people can do. People can walk on, everyone can walk and it's nothing, no magic on it. So yes, Barr will be still working for Trump and he will be pretending how hard it is for him to work to please Trump. It's nothing. He's a circus man and he will be doing this with pleasure. Peggy, will Barr be disbarred or, or will he, oh that one I already answered, sorry. Cheryl. Trump contradicts himself about Giuliani. Once he said that he didn't hire Giuli Giuliani like two months ago, and now he is before the impeachment, and now he's saying, yes, I, I hire Giuliani to, to work uh, in uh, Ukraine for me. So why is he changing <coughs> his um, story? And this is the, and as an answer, I saw Coco Chanel symbol. A long time ago when I was slim, I had a belt from Coco Chanel with that um, buckle. And to me, they are connected. You know, that thing was locking itself in front of me, so they are in cahoots together. That the, because I, well, I had some pendant ones and some earrings, but nothing really that reminds me that that uh, belt was more treasure because I was young and it was in the 70s that something like this was kind of snobby, not that I'm snobby, but I like clothes <laughs> and I did that time. So I think Trump is afraid that Giuliani is telling him, look, we are connected. Don't think that you can disconnect from me. You have to stay on my side or otherwise you are in deep trouble. And uh, so Trump is going to be quiet about that. And this one is about Johnson, Boris Johnson. Trump hung up on phone with Boris Johnson. And shortly after that, Boris Johnson refused to cancel his trip to USA to the White House. 
Why is uh, this? Uh, why is Johnson disconnect himself from Trump? And as an uh, answer, I saw a wrestling uh, game between two guys, two wrestlers in uh, um, sumo wrestlers. He Johnson is trying to show Trump, you are not above me. We are equal, so we can wrestle and. Uh, that's what I have seen. I will try to do very soon another, maybe two days from now. We have a long weekend now, family day. Tomorrow I'm doing some dinner for... And uh, so see, have a nice... Uh, you have probably President Day tomorrow, uh, Monday. So have a nice President Day. Even you don't have the best president, <laughs> but maybe you have day off, so you have to celebrate your day, fun day, and enjoy yourself. See you in a few days. Maybe mon by Monday I will have another video. And take care of yourself. Be good to each other. Everything the best to everyone, and I love you guys, so <laughs> I'm happy to be with you every day, three times a week at least. So see you next time. And thank you to everyone who is coming for readings, and thank you for, for your comments, for your generosity, and be my friends. Bye-bye.